Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and this will be the second video for the location options. There will be three options available. The first one is to set the location with Google or OpenStreet Autocomplete. We showcase this scenario in our main demo. When the Google or OpenStreet Autocomplete option will be enabled, then in the search location field, when you will type a location name, below you will have a drop-down from Google to choose options from. The second option available can be tested in our demo one domain. And for the location field, when you will start typing a location, the elements saved in submission form will be displayed in this dropdown. And for the third option, you will be able to set the location field to be a dropdown. In this video, I will show how to manage the options for the team autocomplete. So first, I will go to team options. In search section, advanced search settings, you will need to set the use Google Places or Algolia autocomplete for search option to no. And also set the option to use drop down list instead of autocomplete to no as well. I will save the changes made. The settings made so far will apply in the search form and in the submission form. And to complete the settings for Team Autocomplete, you will need to also go to Payments and Submit, Listing Submit page. And here you will have this option, Show Cities and Areas as Dropdowns. This option will apply for the submission form. And with Team Autocomplete, you will have the option to set City and Area to be a free field or to be a dropdown. I will set it to No and show how the submission form will work for this case. And after, we'll show how it will work with the option enabled as well. Now I will go to front end and show how the team autocomplete will work in submission form and in search. First, I will add a new listing. I will go to user dashboard, add new listing. I will fill in the detail quickly. And for the city, the owner will have a free field and will be able to type the city for his listing. I will type London. I will also add manually the neighborhood. In this case, the country field will need to be manually selected as well. You will have a drop down with countries. I will select the country as well. I will fill in the rest of the listing details of the record. The new listing is published. I will open it. In address details, you will see the city, area and country. Also, the city and area have been automatically saved as listing categories. I will show under listings in city, you will have London saved as a new city and in neighborhoods, you will have the greater London saved as area. The new city and area will be automatically saved as categories, but for them to be seen instantly in the search form location field on front end, you will need to manually generate the data. Due to speed reasons, the data for non-Google Autocomplete is generated one time per day. As said, you will be able to generate manually the data. You will need to go to Team Options, Map, and you will need to go to Generate Data and pin section. And here you will only need to save changes. Now I will go to front end and I will look for the listing that I just added. In location field, I will type London. You will see that the city and area that I just saved will show. I will select London and press search and my listing will be shown as a result. When using the location field in search, you will be able to search by city, area, state and country. Next, I will go back to team options and now I will enable drop downs for city and areas. I will save the change and I will repeat the process by adding a new listing and by performing a search. So I will go to user dashboard. I will fill in the details. And now for the city, I will need to select one city from the drop-down. The drop-down elements will need to be manually added by admin as listing categories for city and area. In this case, I will select London and Greater London. I will also change the country. 
and I will fill in the rest of the details of the record and after show how the search works. My listing is now published. I will open it. You will be able to see the address details. You will be able to see city and area in address details. And now I will go on home page. I will type London. I will select London from the drop down and I will press search. Now you will see that both listings are returned as results. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.